Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. So I've had a fair amount of emails to do with this 272 Holes Pharma, okay? Uh, wanting me to do more of a thorough review on it and tell you guys how I feel about it. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, like I said, this is the uh, Husqvarna 272. Of course, it's a Holes Pharma clone. Uh, I'm actually quite happy with this saw um, on a couple of accounts. It is, of course, a 72cc saw, okay? It comes stock 52 millimeter, kind of like the uh, 372 big bore. Uh, they start life at a 50 millimeter, and you big bore them, the big bore kits are 52 millimeter. This is already a 52 millimeter. Of course, it has a shorter stroke, putting it back into the 72cc class, okay? Um, so I, I have been very happy with this saw. Uh, matter of fact, it's one of my up and coming projects that I want to do some uh, some some good modifications to when it comes to pipes and uh, some port work and, and and so on and so forth. Uh, a lot of people get into the 372s, myself is included, and I do a lot of big bore kits and uh, porting to the uh, 372s. But the 272s, host farmers get a lot of neglect when it comes to. Uh, it's it's uh, performance gains as far I mean as far as people modify them and so uh, lately uh, like I said uh, starting about a week ago when I started doing some of my cuts uh, cookie cutting videos with this machine uh, I've had a lot of emails asking me hi hey hi how do you feel about that saw I really like it I really do I, I, the one thing of course this is this is uh, this is the thing about you know, when they clone them, they clone them. And so the one thing I don't like about this saw, which is the thing, same thing I don't like really about the 288 uh, and, and, and and some other saws, is the chain tensioner is right here between the dog and the bar. I mean, they could have hit it somewhere inside the motor. I mean, it made it a little bit harder to get to, right? Uh, but beyond that, uh, of course, that's not its fault. That's just the word. It's Husqvarna location. They're cloning it. So there you go. Uh, but if I had one gripe about it, I mean, I wish they had uh, done an on onboard, uh, which it's on board, but the chain tensioner comes out the front. But if they could have made it accessible through the other side, through the clutch cover, like the 372 is and such on, it had been nice. Uh, it wouldn't have taken much engineering, so to speak, to change that. But and So I wish they could have done something like that. Uh, but a clone's a clone, right? Uh, but it comes stock with the wall bar carburetor, so it runs very well. Uh, I've had a couple small issues with the Chinese carburetors when it comes to the 372s. Uh, I switched it out with another uh, Chinese carburetor, and they do fine. So I've I've had one time where the 372 where I needed to put another carb on it, and that one tuned out well, no problem. Uh, I probably could have rebuilt it. Maybe there's some debris in it. Uh, rather new machine, so uh, maybe not. I've heard of people uh, rebuilding them right out from the jump uh, just to make sure there's no debris in it. So on, I don't know. But this one comes stock with a a Walboro. Now, if these Walboros are copies or not, I'm sure they are. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm sure they are. But but it, it comes with a Walboro type carburetor. Um, it, it's tunability. Is that the word of the day? I think it is. It's tunability is very, uh, it, it tunes up well. I mean, I've had zero issues out of the saw. Now, if I had to complain in any way, shape, or form about this particular unit, uh, it has an anti-vibration issue. Uh, as you're cutting, you can feel it more. I think it's, I need to look into it. I think I've said this on another video. Uh, uh, I have to look into it. Maybe the spring is pulling from the middle of the spring. I don't know, I need to look into it. I have ran other 272 Holst Pharmas. They didn't have that issue. I'm gonna fix it. So uh, I, I would say it's it was it's due to this machine and something to do with that, not necessarily the whole lineup. So, uh, but it cuts a lot like a 372 stock. Okay, or uh, my bad, it cuts a lot like a 372 big bore. It does before porting. Okay, uh, before porting. So if you take a 372 big bore. And this one next to each other, I think they cut similar. Probably 372 would run out, uh, run away from it. If I had to choose this machine or the 372 uh, Holst Pharma, both of them being Holst Pharma, I would say I would probably go 
with the 372 just because it, it, you can do so much with the 372 you really can and 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 uh that's just my opinion but i wouldn't kick this puppy out of my collection in any way shape or form particularly when i bought it uh i got it off of amazon for around 275 280 okay you had a coupon deal on it blah 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 so i got it really really cheap really and so uh so yeah um, of course, you can do that same thing. Right now, they have a 65cc version of the 372. Uh, it really would be like I'd call a 65 special. It wouldn't be a 372, but they label it 372. Uh, but you can you can buy the 65cc version of the 372 uh, for 209. Okay, order you a big bore kit, jump that sucker right to 76.5 cc's. What are you gonna have in it? About 260 dollars, 260 dollar big bore guys. So same price. Get this one discounted? I don't know. But, yes. Uh, so, I've done a lot of uh, uh, modifications to the 372. I have not done too many modifications to this. Now, we all know that we use, a lot of people use the 272 piston in the 372. Uh, in the 372 cylinder. And, uh, and they, of course, with some... some uh, oh, grinding and... and uh, 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 basically it takes a lot of machining work to put to make it all work but they get great gains out of it and it's been proven so so uh how that relates to this is this that uh I, i'm really interested in seeing how it modifies um and getting into that probably in the next month or two i've got some other projects coming up like a 460 big bore kit in the host pharma for uh g 466 which would be the ms 460 I'm looking forward to that, uh, really am. But for this particular saw, I like it, guys. I mean, I'm telling you what, if, you, if you're if you looking to add to your collection a good, good, solid saw from the Holst Farmer collection, I would recommend this saw, okay? I would say I've got about four or five tanks on it. Uh, it's a good cutter. I have done some modifications to it when it comes to, uh, when it comes to, uh, colorifying or beautifying or you guys know how I roll how I do it and so but beyond that just the unit and it came like a blue thunder you know completely blue of course uh, good machine guys it really is like I said it comes with the Warbro type carburetor if it's January or not who knows uh, I don't think so uh, but I'm cut I'm uh, sporting the Oregon Versa cut on it I found it off the shelf on a, in an old saw shop probably been there forever those are hard mounts to find just off the shelf you're not going to find them at the home depot or the big box stores uh so i would give it i would definitely give it a high rating i would uh, uh four four star i really would uh, out of five uh and and, and uh i'm really been happy with this saw it cuts like a little woodchuck it really does uh, i'm like i said i'm really interested to see how it does with like some pipes of mine and different things so we'll get off into that at another time and uh uh but i like the unit i really do uh, uh like i said the only reason i would go with the 372 is just because you can do so much with the 372 and perhaps there's a lot of modifications guys i'm no different than you guys when it comes to looking up ideas for modifications i go straight to the youtube guys i like the diversity amongst the community okay gives me ideas uh of my own to go and kind of put a twist a, a slight twist on it so to speak and so uh and i look up different things on forestry forums and to something to to make a light bulb come on and go hey you know so yeah i would definitely re recommend this saw i uh I've been really happy with it, and it has done really well amongst YouTube as far as people seeking it out and, and the videos that I've, I've produced with it, it has done very well. So there are a fair amount of people interested in this saw. I would say, really, out of all my saws, except for the 660, I've probably got the most emails on this saw, you know? So it is a desirable saw, and people people are liking it. And so, uh, now, how it, performs next to the original 272 uh i've had uh, about six months ago i worked on a 272 an actual husqvarna 272 old school it was in pretty decent shape for its life for its year uh i would say that it does pretty close i would i really would um 
course that one had had some years put on it and, and who knows but uh, i would say it's pretty close and so yeah i really like it i'd like i said i'd give it a four plus maybe stars and and uh would never take it out of my collection no sir no sir so uh i do like it i really do all joking aside i really do like it uh and i uh modifications i have so far you know obviously a pipe you guys know how i feel about those um I, I I want I'm interested to do some port timing on it, uh, mapping of the cylinder. You guys see up there the timing wheel, and, and get into it and see where it falls uh, for myself instead of uh, uh, and and do some port work on it, you know, uh, and then see how she cuts. So, but yes, sir, I would definitely recommend this saw, guys. I really would. Um, again, I'm running a Versa cut uh, Oregon bar, and uh, of course the Oregon chain as well and so uh full chisel and uh yeah she cuts like a woodchuck so you guys can check out my videos on it there's some cookie cutting videos on it and and again guys not all the time when i'm doing what we call these uh glamour cut cookie cutting not all the time is it just for that it's a lot of times i'm i'm testing saws and so uh and we try to be as responsible as we can when it comes to so we have a hobby farm and we use them for adult bedding, for animal bedding, for adult bedding. I mean, it's the, the younger uh, animals, you can't use it because of the, the cedar dust isn't really good for them. But once they get past a certain age, you can use it for bedding. Uh, we use a lot. Uh, my wife is very uh, artistic, and uh, she uses a lot of the cookies for, she makes uh, Christmas ornaments, and she makes coasters, and uh, she makes all kinds of things. She sells them on Facebook. And, um, but, but yeah, so, uh, uh, I love the saw and, uh, uh, I recommend it and you guys go to Amazon and I, I believe right now though, the lowest price I've lowest price, I'm sorry, that I've seen lately is, it's like just barely over 300. Okay. So it's not a bad price for a really good power saw. Um, if you go straight to Hulse Pharma, they're a bit more expensive. I suspect, uh, uh, they stack them up at Amazon and why you're getting a better deal. I'm not quite sure, you know, uh, but you are, and they get to you quicker. So, um, there you go. There you have it. Uh, this will be the video of the day. And as guys, I appreciate you guys liking and subscribing. Uh, I'm getting 50 to 60, uh, subscribers a day. And so thank you guys. Thank you guys very much. And, and welcome to the channel. Feel free to comment in, down in the comment section. And if you have any questions about uh, other Hulse Pharma products or other saws you would like me to review, we'll get her done. Uh, yes, sir. And so, uh, as always, guys, stay safe.